Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the 2022 Leave Insert Ordering Level Question 1. The first question is complex numbers. Part A. In part A we need to get Z1 from the diagram. If we look at the diagram we can see if we go across in the real axis minus 2 and down minus 3 in the imaginary axis we can get the coordinates it's minus 2 minus 3i. In the second part we have z bar. This means the conjugate. So if we have z is equal to a plus b i then z bar or the conjugate is a minus b i. So therefore we need to change the central sign to a plus and we can plot it in. For part 2, let's look at this. So we go up plus 3 and across. And all we need is to put the bar on top. On to part B. We want to plot Z2 and Z3 on the argon diagram. So Z2 is minus 5 plus 3. Minus 5 in the real and plus 3 so that will be z2 write z2 next to the coordinate and z3 is 4 minus 2i out 4 and down minus 2 alright so very straightforward so far let's subtract z3 from z2 4 minus 2i minus brackets minus 5 plus 3i. Alright, so always put brackets in front of the number, okay, because the sign will apply to both elements inside. So we get 4 minus 2i plus 5i minus 3i. And the final result will be 9 minus 5i. Take your time and check your signs. Finally, we got to get the modulus of that. So when we see the two bars, if we have a rectangular form complex number, we can apply the modulus rule. Square both numbers and leave out the i, as that just indicates the name of the imaginary axis. So let's put these numbers together. And we're going to get the square root of 9 squared plus 5 squared or minus 5 squared all inside the square root. And that will give the square root of 106, which is equal to 10.3. Finally, we need to look at an equation with a root. So if the root is substituted into the equation instead of z and we get zero on both sides then it's a solution. Okay so let's place the complex number instead of z everywhere. So we'll go 4 minus 2i all to be squared for the first part plus 2i by z again 4 minus 2i and finally minus 7i. Let's square it out. So let's do this in steps. 4 minus 2i by 4 minus 2i. Let's write it out so we can see every operation. Now we'll split and repeat. So take your time with this one. There's a lot of working out and we'll just multiply this out over here and we're going to get 8i minus 4 by i squared which will be minus 1. So just say i squared is equal to minus 1 minus 7i is equal to 0. And let's multiply it all out so we get 16 minus 8i minus 8i plus 4i squared again so that's 4 by minus 1. 
just write i squared is equal to minus one with that to indicate the rule that's a plus now and that's a minus seven i still so finally we can sum all the numbers together so this is a minus four i plus a four i so they're going to cancel and we have a 16 for the real so the real number is 16 look at all the i's so minus eight minus eight plus eight minus seven is a minus 15 i so that's not equal to zero so the conclusion is z3 is not a solution okay, so that's the end of the question thank you for watching maths plus as always like and subscribe